do I really need to use place value discs? As you work through grade one, excuse me, grade two material in our classroom, we use the place value discs a lot as students are beginning their work. And as they're getting stronger with their understanding of these pieces, I'm using them to model in the front of the classroom, but the students are drawing their place value discs. So they're drawing 100, 10, and they're six ones. Sometimes we draw vertically, but a lot of the time we actually draw in our five group formation that we use so much in grade one, which was five across and then we made another row underneath. Later, as students move towards what's called the chip model, they'll actually just draw dots inside a place value chart that will show hundreds, tens, and ones, and they could represent the same number, 100, 110, and six ones. So we can move to something that's faster and easier to use, but has the meaning that we've developed from all of our work with the discs. And before that, we were using straws or sticks that were bundled. So we continue to move to a more and more abstract representation, but always building off the representation we used previously.